Hello, this is Rishab Jain from RQ Productions, and welcome to a new Science Bowl and general learning video. Today, we will be talking about animal partnerships and symbiosis. Up next. Imagine life without your best friend, or even your family. Who would you hang out with and talk to about your problems? Life would be so lonely. You rely on your friends for companionship, fun, and support. Did you know that animals rely on each other too? Some have lifelong relationships with other organisms, called symbiotic relationships. There are three different types of symbiotic relationships. Mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Mutualism is the relationship where both partners benefit. An example of mutualism is the relationship between the Egyptian plover and the crocodile. In the tropical regions of Africa, the crocodile lies with its mouth open. The plover flies into its mouth and feeds on bits of decaying food stuck in the crocodile's teeth. The crocodile does not eat the plover. Instead, he appreciates the dental work. The plover eats a meal and the crocodile gets his teeth cleaned. Coincidentally, the Egyptian plover is also known as the crocodile bird. This is the same interaction between bees and flowers. The bees receive the nectar and the flowers get pollinated. Commensalism is a long-term biological interaction in which members of one species gain benefits while those of the other species neither benefit nor are harmed. In the ocean, certain organisms stick onto other fish to stay alive and find a place for shelter. In this image, as it can be seen, these fish crowd around a shark so they can have protection while the shark does not really gain much of this interaction. Parasitism marks an interaction between a host and a parasite. Parasitism is a symbiotic interaction in which one organism derives its nutrients from another organism. In one of the examples, one organism lays its eggs in another organism. Once the eggs hatch, the eggs thrive at the cost of the host. Lastly, we have predation, which is the interaction between a predator and the prey. The predator captures, kills, or consumes the individual, which is the prey, and the prey gets hunted. Now let's go over some sample science bowl practice questions for biology and ecology related to symbiotic relationships. Biology multiple choice. Which of the following symbiotic relationships is considered parasitic? A. Tapeworm in an intestinal tract. B. Bees transporting pollen from flowers. C. Pilot fish swimming under sharks. Or D. Birds eating the insects from the back of a hippopotamus. Answer there. A. The tapeworm in an intestinal tract. The reason behind this is because the tapeworm, which is the parasite, is benefiting at the cost of the organism with the intestinal tract. The tapeworm is receiving free nutrition and shelter, while the organism, which is the host, is being eaten from the inside. Next question. The bacteria in our large intestine break down food that we consider waste. During this process, vitamins are released that we absorb into our bloodstream. This is an example of which symbiotic relationship? A. Parasitism B. Commensalism C. Competition and D. Mutualism Answer there D. Mutualism The reason behind this is because we benefit from the bacteria who are breaking down the waste and the bacteria benefit because they are receiving nutrition and shelter to live. We have one more question for you. A remora hitching a ride on the shark is an example of which symbiotic relationship? A. Predator or prey B. Mutualism C. Parasitism or D. Commensalism The answer here is commensalism. This is because the remora is benefiting. It receives a mini shelter and free transportation. 
Meanwhile, the shark neither benefits nor is hurt. Today, we learned about the different types of symbiotic relationships. We learned about mutualism, parasitism, commensalism, and predation. All these are very important to know in ecology and biology studying guides, especially for Science Bowl. We really hope you enjoyed this video and consider watching our playlist which will be linked in the top right and the description which has more science bowl and general science learning so you can ace your tests and competitions. Please subscribe and like and let us know what you want to see next in the comments. Thanks for watching.